right, let's get into our first discussion now. The Federal Safety Corps in Ogun State has embarked on a 24-hour special patrol in four major expressways in order to ensure proper management of highways during the festive season. With the program tagged safety on road, this yield tide not negotiable was flagged off by the sector commander Clement Olajide while speaking to journalists about the program, which was declared open along Muweba for access of Lagos Ibado Expressway, the sector commander said four accident help area camps have been set up in strategic locations to promptly attend to emergency situations. Yeah, Oladele, who added that the plan was to adequately prepare for the safety of more than 300,000 estimated commuters estimated to ply Ogun Road corridors during the festive period. I, however, implored all road users to be careful during the season, adding that the command, with the support of other sister agencies, would ensure accident-free Yuletide in the state. Even we've deployed some, some of our personnel from other parts of the state, and if the HQ is also supporting us with uh, more logistics and some men, and we've made provision for them here in Mowe, so that they'll be camped here, they'll sleep here, They'll be here 24 hours to just ensure that everybody they arrive home safely. This is the, 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 the December period. We know that every, everybody want to come and want to come to Lagos and buy something. So you have to be careful because there's plenty motor on the road now. It's, it's okay, but uh, you know for our safety and uh, for our for for our safety and uh, they don't want us anything tragedy or disaster to happen to anybody. So it's good. They are put in, in place so that uh, there will be no suddenly accident, or, uh, accident on the road. And in the studio with us now is the sector commander of the Federal Road Safety Corps, Ogun State, Clement Oladere, to talk to us more about that program put in place at this time. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. All right, now, of course, <coughs> everyone knows that this is the period where there will always be a hustle and bustle of vehicles, yeah. uh, express roads. So how do you, do you uh, plan to make this uh, program you've put in place now, safety on road non-negotiable, uh, very effective? Because Med would say that you cannot hold drivers at the wheels. So they will drive. If they want to speed, they will speed. Yes, uh, uh, good morning, viewers, uh, once again. I think, I think to us in FRIC is uh, we have a job cut, cut out for us. And uh, even in, 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 in the command, okay, nationwide, the, the core is something we do year in, year out. It's more like a ritual now. And even in FRIC, Ogun State Command, for as early as uh, September, we decided that, okay, we know that December is coming and that we needed to plan for a, 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 a grand operation. Because the key issue is that everybody that is traveling, it, it is within your right to arrive safely. Because there's nobody that will just on his own want to board a vehicle, either commercial or private vehicle. And his aim, his goal is that he gets mm. killed on the road. So we recognize that if it is within your right to arrive safely, we recognize the fact that it is your inalienable right by God that the moment you are born, you are not supposed to die. Nobody, even government, government does not even have the right to take lives, except some conditions are prescribed. You have to take the person to court. The, the, the court will have to give a pronouncement that the person should be killed if you violate the right to life. And then the governor of the state will have to even approve it before the state is even authorized to kill. So nobody, and I repeat, nobody has the right to kill you. It is within your right to arrive at your destination safely. So in our command, we decided that, oh, what we're going to do is that, let us look at the numbers, because FRIC, we're a data-driven, performance-based organization. We said, okay, what happened last year? So last year in Ogun State, we realized that we had 27 crashes during the Ember month, and 21 people died. We now say this year we will not allow a single person to die on our roads during the Ember month. We also realized that how many people traveled last year. We realized that we had about 228,200 people that traveled on, uh, from commercial vehicles from Ogun State roads. And about 19,010 were the vehicles that conveyed them. So we now said, okay, based on uh, our permutation, the analysis that we did, we realized that we'll be having about at least 300,000 passengers that will travel this period. And we said the goal is all of them must arrive at their destination safely. Because we realized that 1st of, uh, of January, 25th of December is going to be on a Monday. Mm -hmm. And it's tendency Friday, Saturday, because even now, even yesterday, the government declared, because we knew mm -hmm. government might declare public, public holiday, holiday Monday and, and Tuesday. <coughs> so we know people will start traveling from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So we just said, okay, we have to be on the road. We have to ensure that everybody gets home safely because this is a period for 
festivities. Yes. Mm. People now, want to like travel. You, you and talked about yeah. You talked about the twenty-four hour service or twenty-four yeah. hour patrol. How effective is that so far? Very effective. We've even started it. If you go to Moe, you go to uh, the border town with Oyo State. Mm. We have another uh, a camp there at uh, uh, Onigari. Then you go to up to J3 with the, the boundary with uh, Ondo State at Aji Bandele. We have a camp there. Ajitori also. We also have a camp to take care of people that are traveling within the Aziz of Abekuta, uh, Ifo, Ota, to Lagos. So just to ensure that if you are traveling, because we also realize in FRC, the rule is continuous traveling for four hours, you need to rest for minimum of 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Just allow the, the you, you go around your vehicle, check, and ensure that everything is all right. And we provided these camps, not only in Ogun State, but all over the country, so that if you get to any of these camps and you needed to rest, you, our, our officers are there to assist you just to make sure that the key word is safety get home safely so that you can go and celebrate with your kids and kings mm. Mm. but then of course uh, some would say that uh, they don't even trust um, frsc officials like before anymore because some of them somehow use force so when you talk to them about frsc they don't even want to listen so how are you hoping to bridge that gap now that I, that is growingly uh, becoming wild mm, I, th I think it's more of a societal uh, challenge uh he said to it was not like this the, 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 you, we, before you see that we 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 love each other, we we can easily even uh, you don't know somebody at home, but you're an elder, you see somebody that is doing a wrong thing, you 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 correct him, and nobody is going to be. In fact, that's what even society expects. But these days, we realize that due to insurgency and other other factors, Nigeria is becoming more and more militarized. Even though we have uh, a civilian government. And then people no longer trust each other. And it's the same thing, the same attitude. It is the same behavior you have at home, the same type of behavior you, you have in the society, even in your religious institutions, even in school, you now bring them to the road. It's the same attitude. And that is why we are saying that all you need to do is, it is in your own interest, trust us, and that is why we're there. That's why we're not going to celebrate for, uh, the Christmas with our loved ones. That's mm -hmm. why we dedicate ourselves to just be on the highway so that we can allow you to arrive your destination safely. So it is your own interest. Believe in us, trust us, we are there to support you. Just cooperate with us and then you get to them safely. Okay, uh, talk to us about, from, from some of the reports we got from the past uh, few days now, mm -hmm. some of the dri commercial drivers traveling, say to states, three, four states outside of here, the, yeah. which seem like a distance, mm -hmm. uh, because of the fear of uh, fuel scarcity. I started buying jerry, fuel in jerry cans and putting in the car just in case they travel on their way to Calabar, on their way to Aquaibom or Benue, and they can't find fuel on the way the, the, as, as where they want, so they have, they have fuel in their jerry cans. How, how much of an offense is that? No, I, th I think it's not, uh, it's not advisable to do that because your safety is key. Hmm. And then you have responsibility not only for yourself, but all every other person inside your vehicle, and then for every other person you share the highway with. So because of this, it is not advisable that you, you travel with, uh, with concealed fuel in your boot. Mm. All you can do is, when you know you are traveling, make adequate arrangements. You know where you are going to, and you know how, much, how, how long time it's going to take you to get to your destination. You also know the quantity of fuel that is going to, to make you arrive at your destination safely. So what you need to do is, you can make arrangement with somebody, a friend, at maybe the location you know that you are going to exhaust your fuel. They can buy the fuel for you, keep it for you. When you get there, you just take it. Well, what, will have but what, anyway. what will happen if you, don't if, have you if you find, if the road safety car finds a driver with jerry cans of fuel in the car? Then you, 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 you also be one of those people that is going to celebrate the Christmas with us on the highway. <laughs> we will not allow you to go because you are not only a danger to yourself, but you are a danger to all other users. Okay, so what other, because of time, what other precautions uh, should or must uh, drivers, both commercial and private drivers, uh, uh, you know, take before going on the express? Well, I, I, I think the most important thing is that two issues are germane, love and responsibility, mm. obedience. If you love, you will not hurt. If you love, you will not drive against traffic. If you love, you will show compassion to others. And then if you obey, if you are obedient, then things will just go smoothly. But there's something I think I need to, to, to flag. For those that are coming into Ogun State for the first time, you need to be extra careful. Ogun State is a peculiar state in terms of the type of vehicles that we have here. I'm talking of articulated vehicles, trailers and tankers, as you might know them. We, we realize that from our crash data, 
even though they consider about 40% of the, the vehicular population, 30, 40,000 vehicles we have in Ogun State, but they cause about 60% of the crashes. Mm -hmm. So you need to realize that these vehicles, because of their, con their configuration, because of the arrangement of their, of their mirrors, most times they cannot see you. You would think they can see you, you can see them, but most times they don't normally see you. So most times when there are crashes, we ask the driver, they say, I didn't see him, and it's the truth. Mm. So for you to be safe, ensure that you are within the cocoons of your own safety. And one of the first yeah. things you can do is that, do not travel less than 10 meters away from a truck ahead of you. Mm. Then make sure that if you are ahead of a truck, for the truck to see you effectively, leave a gap of a minimum of four, the size of four cars ahead. Okay. And then when you're overtaking a truck, do it with caution, don't panic, just know that when you're overtaking the truck, the more you are closer to the truck, the less difficult it is for the driver of the truck to see you. Mm. So when you take, take this pro, uh, pre, uh, precaution and also just obey traffic rules and regulation, make sure that your vehicles are in top-notch condition, you just get home safely because you are there to ensure your safety. All right, uh, Clement Oladili, Sector Commander of the Federal Safety Corps Ogun State. Thank you for coming on the Thank program. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Right. We wish you well in your new Ameri program. Thank you very Ameri much. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Right. Thanks so much. Okay, so we'll go on a short break now, and when we're at, of course, we'll go into the next uh, discussion. And of course, mm. we'll try to uh, talk about how smooth or easy or mm. enjoyable or otherwise, or otherwise, really, it will be this to Christmas enjoy is the going Christmas. to be really for Nigerians yeah. this time. Uh, we'll be having Alistair Wilcox with us on the show. Stay with us.